is the story of a college student named Kyle who discovers his professor was a real vampire. He was a dark walker of the halls. He thought it was odd that the professor only offered night classes. Hello class, welcome to Medieval Folk Literature. I trust you have all found the books. I found the text to be quite affordable. Some of you might love history, fiction or nonfiction. Some of you may be asking yourselves where the legends in our world come from, tales of superstition and the supernatural. We'll be looking at historical records and documents, centuries old records from small towns. Well, let's define some things, shall we? Let's take life and death. These are the basics. Most of us know what it means to be dead, at least I think most people are alive in here. What about the undead? Most people think that the only thing left after life is death. We're going to be looking at some texts that suggest otherwise. Do you mean like zombies? You're referring to the reanimation of dead tissue, life given back to death, if you will. Much of the material in our coursework has been muddled, shrouded in old wives' tales. But we're going to be working to unearth the truth underneath it all. Well, what do you mean? Like, like supernatural creatures? Well, there are many different forms. Let's see how much you know already. Let's take, for example, the five Gs. Goblins, gremlins, ghosts, ghouls, and gnomes. Well, from our introductory reading, what does Straussen say about goblins? Well, a goblin is an evil, crabby, mischievous creature. Now, gremlins, they are small humanoid creatures whose sole existence seems to be to torment men, play practical jokes, and in general, just make life miserable for everyone. Now, can anyone tell me what the difference is between a ghost and a ghoul? Is it that a ghoul is a ghost with slime? Ghoul sounds slimy. A ghost can be defined as an apparition of a deceased person. Associated phenomena may include poltergeist disturbances, cold drafts, voices. We're about out of time for class today. But professor, you didn't mention anything about vampires. Well, frustratingly, most of our textbooks, if not all, are grossly incorrect when it comes to the discussion of vampires. But what is accurate? Garlic, crucifixes, wooden silver stakes to the heart? It's not enough to simply learn about a vampire. You have to know how to kill one as well. What are you afraid of? What? This is the first thing that came to my mind. What you've just said is a very telling attitude the general attitude towards vampires. It's a very unfair prejudice, if you ask me. Thank you all, class. I will see you next week.